Hello everyone, I'm Vagney Bradley for Music Exclusives TV and I'm with Adrian Marcel. What's happening? So you are here at Essence Music Festival. Yes, I am here. You're right. And you just put on a show. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You, you really did. That was did you it. enjoy it? I liked it. What did okay. you like about it? I, you know what? I love the, the crowd. I always love to be in front of a an audience that wants to see something. Like, they're waiting to see something. Like, what are you going to do? And then when you give it to them, it's like they 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 respond. You know, it's nothing like when you're giving your all and they just sitting there with the... But then after the show, oh my God, you were so great. I needed you to be like that 10 minutes ago, you know? So it was, it was awesome. I loved it. Hey, and is this your first time at Essence? It is my first time at Essence, absolutely. So, so it was, it was um, overwhelming, honestly, you know, like being, being able to do my thing and, and here, especially with the organization like Essence, you know, it's, it's big. So the Essence Festival is like, this is history and especially for me. So, um, and in a city that, you know, when you when you get here, you can just see how powerful the city is, you know, how they rebuilt themselves, how they have survived. And I mean, it's, it's no more blessing that I could ask for than to be here and to perform like this. So, yeah. And is there anyone at Essence performing that you really want to see? I want to see everybody. Like, I'm waiting to go to the, they gave me a pass. They said I can go to everything. I'm, I'm hot. It's like movie hopping. I'm finna show up. So who are some of your musical inspirations? My musical inspirations, um, I go back. So you, you talk about like Marvin Gaye, um, Donny Hathaway, Sam Cooke, uh, Frankie Lyman, Jackie Wilson. Um, you know, more recent, I'd have to say like Tank, R. Kelly, uh, Maxwell. Mm -hmm. um, just great singers, like singers who you can just feel their soul through their voice. Like they're not trying. It's it's effortless. It's finesse, and and it's 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 just dest it's destined. Like the type of voice that they have. So I, I I work hard so that I can you know put myself in that category. I know you mentioned R. Kelly. I saw yeah. you do your little R. Kelly thing up What'd there. What do you think? That was good. You know, I interviewed yeah. him not too long ago, nice. and you know, he is just amazing. Yeah, for real. I mean, yeah. singer, songwriter, producer. Absolutely, absolutely. So you know, that's definitely one of your. In in oh yeah, I've, I've had the pleasure of working with Kels and um, and just being in his element. You know, and it's it's crazy. You know, um, it really. It's really inspiring, you know, it makes you want to go back and just get it right every time, you know, because I mean, still at this day and age, after all these years with like 20 some odd years or something like that, like he still got it. Like he still will write you the best song you ever heard in your life. So. So who are some of your dream collaborations? Hmm. I mean, I would love for me and Kels to do a record, of course. Um, I'm trying to think who would I love to collab with? I like Beyonce. I think me and Rihanna would tear something up. Okay. I think that would be dope. Um, Maxwell, I love to work with Maxwell and just to guy, like like see how he is like in the studio and to and to just take from that. You know, um, I was blessed to be able to work with Rafael Sadiq like I do. That's definitely one of the people on my list and um, really wish I could have gotten with Marvin Gaye. You know, and uh, took something from him too. So yeah. Okay, so who's in your playlist right now? My playlist right now, we got some Young Thug, we got some Drake, we got some, um, who else? We got some Big Sean, uh, got some Ty, who else we got? Got a little Coldplay in there, got some, I was just listening to Genuine Pony before I went on stage, that's how I got in my sexy mood, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and 2AM, that's a hit, I know that's uh, in my you. workout thank playlist. You. That's what's up, that's what's up. Day at the gym, yeah. I gotta put on, th I start I see my you, workout. You, you got it right, you did it. <laughs> Right. I started my workout with 2 a.m. So nice. I know you collab with Sage Gemini. How yeah. was it working with Sage Gemini? Oh, that's my that's my bro. Like you know, we, we come from the same 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 city. You know, um, he from Fairfield. I'm from Oakland, right across the bridge. You know, and um, Sage is just a down to earth dude. Like you know, I, I like that about him. You know, because that's that's the way I am. You know, I don't when I when I get off stage, I turn it off. You know, like I'm surprised the swoop is still in right now. But. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's something that's turned on and off with Sage, too. Like, he's just him all the time. He goofy. You're going to laugh. You're going to have a good time, you know. And um, I just like to be around people like that. You know, so Sage, you know, shout out to Sage the Gemini. He out there doing doing his thing, you know. And so growing up in Oakland, how did that shape the artist that you are today? It's everything. Like, I am Oakland, you know. Um, it's, 
the culture of the of the city that we have you know um it gets a bad rep at times but it's rich in culture so i take that you know my city is very big on just being real and just being honest and i try to keep that in my music as much as possible you know i want to i want somebody to be able to relate to my music and you can't relate to it if it's fiction you know it has to be it has to be real it has to be honest and has to be pure and my city will be the first to let me know mm -hmm. that I'm not real mm -hmm. if I come with any phony, you know. So um, I wear that on my shoulders. I wear that on my back, you know. And I love my city. And I, 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 everything that I've learned, it happened there. So, I mean, yeah. Okay, so what can the fans look forward to from Adrian Marcel? Because the ladies absolutely love you. So. And I love you ladies, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really love women, like, for real. Like, y'all. <laughs> My God, like all of y'all, all shapes, sizes, color, crease. I don't even care. You just sexy. I mean, you know on social saying? media, they really go in. They're tweeting you. They be saying some. You ain't seen my DMs. They oh, be no. crazy. Like I'm scared. Like I be kind of scared sometimes. <laughs> like dang, like is you outside? Like you, <laughs> you ready like that? You know, it is, but it's cool. <laughs> so what can they look forward to this year from Adrian Marcel? This year, you know, a lot of more videos. You know, we 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 trying to put out a video every month. Um, I've been dibbling and dabbling in some acting, okay. you know, I'm trying to get me some roles, you okay. know, you know, uh, shout out April. Who would you and, love to uh, act with? Um, you know what? It's funny. Like, y'all not going to believe me. I don't even care. Like my dad used to work with Denzel, you know, back when he was, you know, acting, you know, um, and I would love to hook up with Denzel and, and to do something, you know, for that, just that full circle thing. Mm -hmm. Um... I really want to work with Christian Bale. I think he's an excellent actor. Um, well, I mean, it's it's. I don't really care who it is, man. I'm just, just it don't matter. Okay. <laughs> it don't matter. I want to work with me as an actor. There you go. Okay, great. And is there anything else you want to let your fans know? Um, yeah, you know, just I, I appreciate y'all so much for just rocking with me the way you do. You know, y'all be supporting, like she said, y'all be saying the craziest things on Twitter and Instagram. But I love it because it just lets me know that y'all rocking with me. It lets me know that y'all feeling the music or y'all feeling something, the swoop, the light skin thing. I don't know. Whatever you feeling, thank you. <laughs> you know, and um, just continue watching because, you know, we're, we're only going up from here. You know, we're working real hard. We're in the studio trying to lock down this album. This GMFU got me effed up. Um, producing and, and writing a lot of songs so you know be on the lookout for Jane Hancock um, yeah L7 we, we, we definitely making making some things happen for you guys yeah. alright well you heard it here at Music Exclusives TV this is Adrian Marcel I'm Vagney Bradley keep it locked Thank keep you. it locked mm -hmm.